Hey guys, Scott here. Sorry about the lack of discussion videos lately. Uh, actually, for the past like week and a half, I've been feeling pretty decent health-wise, so I've been streaming a lot more. But uh, today, I'm just taking the day off, so I thought I would talk about this. This is something I've talked about before a long time ago. Several years ago, I made a video kind of referencing this stuff. But it's definitely, if you watch my streams, a mindset I tend to have. And a lot of other people have this mindset, too. And I just wanted to talk about it because a game that I played the other day on stream sort of reinvigorated my desire to talk about the topic. So uh, to go over what happened in the game, I was playing on Azeroth's Resting Place with Blight. Azeroth is one of the most killer sided maps in the game due to how easy it is to control a 3 gen. Basically, if you hook a guy on one side of the map, especially if Baseman is there, um, you can basically camp that guy and your 3 gens and either the survivors are all in an area that's like half the size of Cold Tower, so you can pressure all of them very easily. Or they do the gens on the other side of the map and then you have a 3 gen. So it's really, really easy to win that map if you play kind of scummy. So uh, losing on Azeroth is, is usually pretty bad in a standard, you know, solo queue regular game. Um, but lose I did. I did really, really terribly. I was taking chases that I definitely shouldn't have. I was abandoning chases when I was about to down someone because I saw Tinker proc and then I don't even get there before the gen stop or, you know, is finished. Um, I was chasing people in the middle too much where I've since learned that Blight's power is not super effective. I should have been chasing people on these actual sides of the map, not the middle. Basically, I was making mistake after mistake after mistake. I was making really bad decisions, and I knew that. That's why, you know, it, it, it's a shitty feeling to know that you're not playing well. It, you know, it doesn't make you feel good about yourself. So I was kind of like bummed out. I was like, man, I, I played that so bad. But the thing that actually made me more upset than how badly I played was my chat's reaction to the game. Like, a lot of them were just giving excuses. They were just saying, oh, what's a survivor friend? What you're going to do? Oh, this is not a good map for Blight. It's a great map for every killer. Oh, you know, they were just gen rushing. Oh, that, uh, there were three DSs. Like, people were just throwing excuse after excuse at me. And that pissed me off more than how I actually did in the game. Because I think this is a huge problem with the actual community itself. It's that the hardest thing a player can do in this game is admit that they didn't play as well as they could have. Admit that they actually made mistakes. And every time I bring this argument up, someone always goes, yeah, but sometimes, you know, on Red Forest against the Survivor with Friends and they have like, you know, 18 brand new pro Yeah, sometimes you just can't do anything. I agree. Sometimes you just spawn on Red Forest or something like that and a gen is done before you can even physically get there. Yes, there are problems in this game and that's one of them. Map design, big maps, huge problem. There are some perk combos that are stupid. Um, DS Unbreakable I still think is really, really stupid when a lot of people have it. Um... Mori's are stupid like there's you know there's weak killers there are definitely issues with the game don't get me wrong I'm, I'm never going to claim otherwise there are definitely issues in the game but I'm willing to bet if you go over if you turn on shadow play this is something I recommend every player do if you turn on shadow play which records you know like the last 10 minutes of gameplay or whatever and you get destroyed the next time you get destroyed in a match go over your own match or send it to me or something I guarantee you can spot a ton of mistakes most of the time, again, there are very, very small exceptions when you get, you know, a really bad map or the fabled, you know, SEAL Team 6. That does happen. But on the vast majority of your matches, I guarantee you can analyze like 10 mistakes in any any game that you lose. Even games you win, you can analyze mistakes. And I'm not saying you have to play perfectly or anything like that. Yeah, sure, in hindsight, you can analyze all these mistakes and go, oh, yeah, I mean, obviously, if I play perfectly, I would have lost forehead. Of course. But... I'm not talking about the actual um, execution of the mistakes. It's more the mindset that is the problem with the community because this is not just a content creator thing. This is everybody. You know, like how many times have you used like on the Steam forums or the Reddit or uh, the official DVD forums or something like that, you will see uh, a thread of somebody saying, you know, look how bullshit this gen rush is. What, what can I do about this? And they'll post a clip of, you know, a four minute game where they get fucking destroyed. And every single time I see people post this shit two things happen one i can watch it and find 50 mistakes in it immediately and two there will be 300 other people going wow yeah that's bullshit at survivor with friends op they basically just create this echo chamber where it can't be the player's fault it must be the game's fault which it has such a smug aura about it like how can you have so much of an ego that you think you just don't ever make mistakes and it's only the game's fault because if you blame the game every time, you're basically saying, I'm infallible, so therefore the only reason I could have lost is because the game is broken. That's it. It's the only, ex like, that's the only explanation for that situation. Obviously, this is a bit of a hyperbole, but I'm just using it for example. And I think it's that mindset 
that a lot of people have. Like I said, it's not just content creators. It's just everybody in the community. There is a large portion that has this mindset where they are going to blame the game before themselves because for, it's just human nature. It's, it's just an easier thing to do. I understand it. It makes sense. It's just the path of least resistance. It's easier to blame the game. And even on the times where it is, you know, bullshit, it's still better to have the mindset that, okay, maybe I could have done something better than, well, it's the game's fault and there's nothing else I can do. Even on the times it's bullshit, even when you go against 4DS Unbreakable on Red Forest, even then, the mindset you should have, even if it was an impossible game to win, which is very possible in that scenario, your mindset should still be, what could I have done better, not this is the game's fault. Because, honestly, this game is kind of actually balanced for the most part. Yes, at the highest level, survivors are uh, definitely stronger. I'm talking about the highest, highest level, like tournament squad level. Yes, survivors are definitely stronger. You basically can use nurse or spirit or you're going to lose. Um, and at the lowest level, killers are too strong. But for the most part, that big chunk of casual players in the middle, the game is surprisingly balanced. And even the games that people complain about, like getting gen rush or something like that, when you actually watch their clip, they still get like two or three kills of it. And it's like, what? Well, you still basically won the match anyway, but it just feels oppressive, so, you know, you, you want to complain about it. But basically, the whole thing is, I think we need to break away from the whole uh, circle jerk that the whole community has. Because all it takes is one person to say, look how stupid this is. And then another guy that had a bad experience goes, yeah, I agree, look how stupid this is. And then another guy says, oh, wow, you guys are having that experience too? Wow. I feel so much more relieved now that it's not me, it's just the game. Oh, thank God. And then before you know it, you have thousands of people just saying the same shit where nothing is winnable and it's always the game's fault. For like the 80th time, I must say, yes, there are times. There are definitely, definitely times where there is not much you can do, but the vast majority of the time, there are things you can improve upon. When I watched my own video in, you know, this whole VOD, I, I could count like 15 mistakes that I made. And, you know, I am a bit better at admitting the mistakes as I'm going through the match. But even then, sometimes I go, oh, maybe I couldn't have done anything there. But then you go back and watch it, and I go, oh, well, of course I should have done this instead of this. So that's why if you notice a lot of, you know, like the best killer content creators, they're all very, uh, they're very humble, like Otstarva or like Zubat or someone like, they're all not afraid every single game to say, I shouldn't have done that, or I played badly, or I made a mistake or something like that. And I think that is such a necessary mindset to have to improve at the game. Because if you always think you're performing at the peak level, you're always doing as good as you possibly can do. Well, how could you possibly get better? You're already at the peak. You're, you're basically saying you're never going to get better at the game. And the people that have this mindset are going to just stay the same level. They might be great killers or they might be great survivors, but they're just going to stay at the same level forever. But people that are humble and admit mistakes always learn because you learn from your mistakes. If you don't make mistakes, you're not learning. So the people that are able to admit it will always, in the long run, end up being better players because that's just simply how you get better. And it's also people that, you know, take uh, the opinions of others and the advice in others and the criticisms of others and they're not afraid, they don't get defensive about it. And they take that and just gather more knowledge and, you know, be more humble about it and they will always end up being players in the long run. Um, but that is mostly it, guys. Hardest thing a DVD player can do is, I think, admit mistakes. Because it's, it's, you know, it's a game that has a lot of frustrating, imbalanced things. So it seems, it's just so easy to blame the game. And there are very real issues in the game that need to be addressed. But I think the mindset of the community needs to change. The mindset has to be that I could always do better. And I think with that, eventually, hopefully the game will be balanced and then it'll mesh together perfectly. But that is basically it, guys. Quite a rant video for me today. Uh, sorry about that, but this game that I had, I, I really wanted to talk about it some more because it uh, it kind of set something off in me. So uh, that is it, guys. And as always, thank you to my dumbass patrons, uh, Dakota, Farabee, Jeff, Silver Siege, and Sky Blue. You guys are dumb for giving me money every month. Thank you. Um, that is it, guys. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. See you next time.